Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. I've got uh, a dead armadillo here on my table. <laughs> uh, dead Armadillo Brewing <clears throat> Company beer. Um, so this is, uh, I was given seven beers um, from Dead Armadillo by Karsten that works there. And uh, <clears throat> this is the last one um, that I have. And this is called the Boat Monkey Deckhand L Lager. It says a little bit back here on the back about it. Um, what is the Boat Monkey? The Boat Monkey is a leisure deckhand, is a leisure deckhand, period. A leisure deckhand is any person spending their leisure time in and around boats performing deckhand duties. The Boat Monkey is also a leisure lifestyle brand. <clears throat> so here we got, uh, it says, Dead Armadillo Brewery specializes in creating craft beverages to help people relax and enjoy their leisure time. A partnership between these two companies was meant to be. So crack open this Boat Monkey he Hella Slogger, scan the QR code, and start relaxing in style. So this is a, a German blonde um, style, if I understand correctly. <clears throat> I like this picture on there. Okay, I can't remember if I've had one of these or not. A Hellas Lager. I think that's how you pronounce it. It might be Hell's Lager, but I, I don't know for sure. <clears throat> Slide this over here. Okay. That's a nice, that's a nice blonde ale right there. Nice appearance. Oh, wow. Hmm, interesting. It's got a, it's got kind of a goldish appearance on the color. Got about a finger of head. Head is pretty white. Small, frothy bubbles. Just a very light cloudiness to it. This aroma is really interesting. It kind of has, it has that, that sweet, um, bready aroma kind of a, a light um, barley malt aroma. But it has this kind of almost like a, like a toasty vanilla kind of, a, of aroma. It's kind of, it's different. Huh, yeah, very interesting. Okay, let's see if we get the same on the taste as we did on the aroma. Oh, wow. Wow, that is really good. I can't say that I've had anything like this before. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you, you do get the same, you get the the same tasting characteristics as you do on the aroma. This, it's like a sweet, bready aroma. Um, <clears throat> you get the kind of mild to medium, kind of a um, barley malt kind of taste. And, and you get that, and well, the vanilla, vanilla part on the taste. It's almost there in, in, a, in an aftertaste kind of a thing. But um, the part that I thought was kind of a toasty kind of a, kind of a characteristic, on the taste, it's not the same. It's, it's kind of got a, um, like a, um, <clears throat> maybe, I 
maybe it's kind of like like um like a little bit of a toasty kind of barley malts kind of a taste but there is a um a bitterness a little bit of a bitterness on the aftertaste smooth this smooth beer um it just has a a sweetness to it um up front in the middle but on that back end and that aftertaste you get just that maybe it's just like um a mix between the, the hops and the barley malts kind of a taste on the aftertaste um it's just really good it's really good and it's something I haven't really I can't say I've ever had a style like this before so that's kind of a new experience for me <clears throat> I've had Blondales but this uh, is just a different kind of Blondale yeah very good um, it has like a close to a medium body on it light carbonation um that's about all i can say about it this is a good beer okay uh, let me know if you've had a hellas hellas lager and if that's the way you pronounce it i can't rem remember if it is it seems like i've heard it both ways but i just don't know for sure but uh that's how it's spelled H E L L E S Lager. Okay. I was just looking on the, the hat of the uh oh okay. It's a a B it's a B and an M boat monkey. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you on the next one. I'm going to see if my remote will work this time. Bye. Oh, not going to work. Okay, see you on the next one.